most organizations have certain metrics that are key to them and are key to their performance. We have in the tabular mode of analysis services, just as we do in multidimensional mode, the concept of a KPI or key performance indicator that we can define within the data model that gets reused elsewhere. So the first we probably should just agree on, you know, why we would want to do this. You know, why make a KPI rather than just have metrics? There are a few good reasons. First is centralizing the definition of these key metrics. So if we want to define a percent of sales to quota, um, we can certainly do that over and over and over in every Excel spreadsheet and in every report that we design for the organization. But why not do that in one place? And the KPIs give us that tool to centrally define metrics. And once we've defined those metrics, we should have a consistent determination for what's favorable, what's unfavorable. So if we use red and yellow and green as our status for our key performance indicators, we really want to define that in one place. So we don't have one report that's green and the other's yellow, for example. And then finally, it does simplify the conditional formatting in the end user tools. So Excel understands what these KPIs are natively, and we'll see when we go through and create one that uh, Excel will see, oh, that's a KPI, it's favorable, therefore I need that to be a certain color, green, and, and so on. So it, it does simplify life for the end users, which is always one of our goals. Let's go ahead and create a KPI. And in our model, we have a sales table, and I have the sales total here. And in the sales quota table, I have quota. I'm going to create a KPI on top of sales, and that essentially compares that to the quota. And first I need to highlight the sales cell so that the tool knows which measure that I'm going to be looking at when I do this. And then I'll click the Create KPI button. This dialog box has everything I need to choose in order to define a KPI in the data model. The KPI base measure is sales, and that's pre-selected and non-editable. That's selected based on my cell selection before I press my KPI button. The next thing I need to do is let the dialog box know what I'm comparing that to. So that's the target value. I could make that an absolute value that might make sense if I wanted a KPI that was perhaps a percentage that reached a certain percentage that I defined in the model, but it's much better normally to define your goals in the data itself so that as the business needs change or if your goal is against something that's always changing, it's much easier to change the data than to re-engineer the model every time there's a change. So I only have one other measure in this in this model and it's sales quota, so I'll go ahead and select that. In summary, I'm comparing sales versus sales quota, very simple. The status thresholds are the next section and what the tool is asking me to do is choose your green when you're what percent to your goal. I can just slide this around and and decide that uh, you know you, you you only need 71 percent of your sales quota to be green that's a little generous um, or 90 percent and that's uh, you know maybe a little tighter really 100 percent on a sales target would probably be the best I'm not sure my data actually has data that's that good so maybe it's a down year and I'm gonna allow you 80 percent to be good I'm very generous and then the next one defines where the difference between yellow and red occurs and let's just make that I don't know, 50%. Now this is, I, I would not make a very good sales manager making choices like these, but uh, for our purposes, it's fine. And then down below, we can choose what our icon set should be, and I'll just choose the default. You can enter more metadata in here, which is definitely a good idea, um, just to describe what are these things. So end user tools can display more intelligent information to users about what they're looking at. In the interest of time, I'll skip that, and I'll click OK. And now I can see that there's this little KPI um, indicator that's in this measure to let me know that not only is that a measure, but I've defined that as a key performance indicator and put some logic around it. If I want to make changes to those settings, I can click Edit Settings and change that anytime I want. That's fine. Now let's see what that looks like in an end user tool. So I'll go to Analyze in Excel using my current user and perspective. Let's take a look at how we would use this. In my pivot table list, I have the sales and sales quota, and now I have a new section for the KPIs. And this is my sales KPI that I just defined. And if I click on sales, and I just want to point this out, when I click on sales, it automatically chooses sales because these are completely linked. Now, if I click on goal, that's actually my sales quota 
number that's being pulled into the goal of this KPI and I can click on the status and, and see the status. Something that's really cool about defining your KPIs in the data model, they become sliceable. So I've selected channel name and added that and now I can see what the KPI status is of the continent but also the channel within that continent. And then I'm going to actually clean this up a little bit and just show my status. And let me go find the date. And if I take the calendar year and put that on the columns, I can actually see kind of a grid of how each continent has done both over time and within channel. So you can see the real benefits of defining KPIs in the data model that for the Excel user, this was really, really easy to make this kind of visualization. If I was using just Excel and I had to use conditional formatting, I could still probably accomplish the same thing, but there would be a lot of steps. It would take me quite a while to do that, whereas this is all pretty much automatic. The other huge benefit that you see is the, the drillability and the sliceability. You know, as I slice on different dimensions and drill down, I don't need to worry about changing that formatting or recalculating what is good and what is bad. It's all being done in the data model for me.